Welcome to Plants, Projects, and More. I'm Aja Gonzalez. This will be part one of our raised garden build. Um, I've sped this up because the kids uh, decided to help me out with uh, one of the last uh, apple trees. So the process was a little bit slower as they love to dig and they wanted to really help out. So <laughs> making memories, this is why we do what we do. And uh, it's great. So as they um, explain what they're doing to me and helping me out, uh, my little one there is uh, very adamant on uh, helping uh, with separation of soil and just taking our time. So while this took a little bit longer than I wanted, uh, it's a great family time. Now they jump in. We dug the hole uh, two feet uh, in uh, diameter and about three feet deep. Um, they were helping out and we kind of stair-stepped it down with uh, with it and he you can see my little one just kind of jump in there and clean clean the surrounding and he will jump in there in order to be able to assess that hey, yeah it is the right depth so bring in the plant and what I'm doing right there is I'm actually adding uh, peat compost to it so keep uh, the peat compost is a natural organic blend of screen pine and active organics um, they're aged and composted um, for about a year. It's a great use of a soil additive um, and it helps to improve the fertility and physical structure of any soil. Now since we're in East Texas we have red clay and a little bit of good topsoil so by removing all that and mixing it in it actually helps um, provide all the nutrients necessary uh, for the apple tree. So. It can be used uh, straight up, uh, uh, straight out of the bag, or uh, again, just mixing it up as a natural growing environment. It really, really is a good source of NPKs, uh, very well balanced. Now we're going to start progressing into the real uh, part, the actual part of this video, which is the as we prepare our uh, land. Um, for our raised garden bed. So right now I'm using the lawnmower to traverse the property in order to get to the other side where um, we're gonna be laying out our foundation, which will be a 3.2 ounce weed barrier claw. Um, the reason why this is uh, being placed uh, so far away from the house is not only because we're gonna be building a compost uh, bin and, um, and stuff, but also, um, it's close to our well. So we are lucky to be on city and on well. Uh, however, for our plants, we want to provide the most nutrients and minerals available. Therefore, we're going to be utilizing our well water. Additionally, we're, it's very close to the, uh, to the pond. Uh, we have two large, uh, one is a one acre pond, the other one's a two and a half acre pond. So we're lucky that it has supplemental uh, pumps and so being able to bring that natural uh, water from the ponds as well in, in a pinch it actually will help the plants uh, with all the nutrients that they will need since we'll be growing various types of uh, vegetables and we'll be doing our crop rotation. Um, as you can see here this is a fairly large area where we're going to be uh, building our raised bed garden. Uh, the first things first, I got to scalp the entire uh, ground. Um, it's not very well noticeable in the video, but a lot of the high grass is uh, there. So I'm starting with the larger, the higher setting on the lawnmower and then coming back with the low setting in order to be able to scalp it. So it's, uh, it took a little time and that's why I kind of sped it up um, quite drastically in order to be, so you guys won't be bored just watching me go in circles mowing the lawn. Um, as you can see, I'm just kind of going over it now, I believe with number one setting as uh, trying to scalp it. And then as I come back on this larger area that you can see that has pretty high grass, I'm gonna go on to the highest setting uh, forward and then I'll back it up with the number one setting. And that really helps to mulch all that and it'll promote a lot more healthier growth of grass as well so that it can uh, uh, our uh, couple head of cattle that we have will be able to enjoy some of that 
nice fresh green uh, grass as it grows as we come into springtime. Now, I am going to be enclosing this with an electric fencing. Um, it is a uh, poultry uh, electric fencing, and the reason for that is it has lower, uh, smaller openings at the bottom and then bigger openings at the top. And this is to prevent squirrels and rabbits and any other uh, fauna to come, uh, not be able to come in once the garden is established so they can you know, have a big old all-you-can-eat feed fest garden salad. So. That's the reason why I'll be putting this and you'll be seeing that shortly. This is a video one of our garden build, rage garden build. So uh, I had to split it up in a couple days since a stone front came in. So you'll see in the video. Um, so far, what we've done is just, we've cleared the land um, kind of all the high weeds and everything. So kind of lobbed it down with the lawnmower, scalped it pretty low. Now we got the material. So I'll be laying down some foundation, uh, 3.2 ounce, um, that way we can uh, start killing off the grass and everything else on it. And then we're gonna start building up with uh, our raised garden beds in a couple weeks. That way, by then it'll be nice and settled and we'll be able to amend the soil properly. Um, since we're here in Texas, East Texas, it's a, a lot of red clay. So we have to amend the soil ourselves. Uh, so this is the best way in order to be able to grow our vegetables and everything that we want um, so this again this will be a I'm not sure how many part series this is going to be but uh, we also planted a, our orchard so uh, as you saw earlier in the video uh, the boys had a lot of fun a little slow process with the boys helping me out but they love to dig so you know it's uh, family time and uh, it's great it's the whole purpose of doing this stuff making memories with the with the kids so uh thanks for coming along don't forget to subscribe hit that like button uh really help me out and uh all right let me set up and uh put this on time lapse and you'll see me lay out the foundation Okay, so six inch um, stakes, ground stakes, that's what I'm gonna be using to lay down this foundation. 3.2 ounce weed barrier. So we'll get to it. I'm gonna change this to time lapse so you guys don't have to sit around and just watch me just pound stakes in the ground forever. So this fabric I'm laying down, it's a weed barrier, right? It's a 3.2 ounce, as I mentioned earlier, but it folds out into six feet and it comes in a 300 foot roll. This is a very heavy duty woven weed control fabric. Um, it's a uh, high permeability and good for flower beds. Uh, it's a geotextile fabric for underlayment and polyethylene ground cover, which means it's basically plastic. But I have no problem with plastic. I know a lot of people do. So if, um, if you do wish to purchase it, you know, you, I'll leave a link in the description where you can get it. And um, it's, it's a really, really good product. Again, UV protectant, so it's gonna last us for a very long time. All right, so got it all laid out. So just the ends are tapped in, overlapped at three inches, staggered them up. And then without, with time and the sun hitting it and everything, it'll actually compress, make it nice and tight. So I know right now it looks kind of flappy and all over the place. I'm not worried about it. It'll actually shrink and tighten up with the sun and the heat uh, as it kills everything else underneath it. The grass, a little bit of grass that's there, and any weed seeds, anything like that. I don't want that poking through. So that's the, that's the game plan. Um, all right, let me get to it. So what I'm doing now is I'm just uh, coming in and bringing those stakes and staking them in at 36 inches apart. But as I progressed, I found out that at the sweet spot was actually 24 inches. So uh, after the video, I came back and uh, added additional uh, stakes to the first row. If you're finding value in this uh, video, go ahead and hit the subscribe button, hit the like button and the notification bell. It really helps me out and it'll let you know when the next video is uploaded. Uh, I'm trying to grow this channel into a really good resource uh, for pretty much 
plants, uh, planting, gardening, projects, uh, anything like that. So I'm looking forward to reading your comments and uh, hopefully I'll have the second video out, weather permitting and God willing, uh, we'll be able to proceed with this. So as you can see here, I'm just uh, finishing up the last of it. And by this time, I am tired. Um, it might not seem like a lot of work, but it's actually, it really is. And in the background, you can hear the naughty uh, puppies just barking away at the chickens, trying to get to them. So uh, I apologize for the barks, but yeah, they're puppies. What are you going to do? All right. So again, don't forget to hit the subscribe. Don't forget to hit that like button. Yeah, it's good. Preparation is key. Preparation of the environment that you're going to be doing. You know, um, anybody can just put some pieces of wood together, make a block, put some dirt, and start growing stuff. Nothing wrong with that. But when you're having to rebuild it year after year, year after year, season after season, that money takes its toll, and uh, you know it starts dipping into your pocket. So. We want something permanent that we can reuse consistently, do our crop rotation without having to, you know, do a one-time purchase, lay it all out. So to do it right, you gotta lay out the foundation, do it correctly, take your time. Yeah, it might take you a little bit longer. We won't see any actual produce anytime soon, but it's done right the first time. So do it right the first time and it'll last you a lifetime. All right, thanks. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe.